Hi folks, Merry Christmas. I managed to get out yesterday. Me and Mario went and tested uh, his new claim. It's not actually a claim, his claim, but it's a little stream brook across from his house. And uh, it's very interesting. Uh, if Mario found a couple of nice bits, uh, it could be very interesting later in uh, next summer. So I'll get on with it. Nice to be nice. Well, didn't expect to get out doing any uh, gold prospecting. Prospecting Mario has just bought a new house or an old house. This is 250 years old, this house. And it's got a bank at the side, a small stream or river. So we're going to test it. And here we are, first shovel of the day. Now, I can't understand anybody who'll buy a house and not test the river first. But I'm a nit probably had searched for a house kaufen. The same with clips <laughs> <laughs> Just run a few pans and see where we go. First pan, two pieces. Looks like it weren't a waste of money buying the house. So I'm just digging behind this rock here. I'm just looking at line at river. And even now I'm picking up some screws and nails. So could be a good pan. So that's my first pan. One piece, but it's not bad considering what's supposed to be in here. Nothing. <laughs> and I'll zoom back and what I'll do I'll just try a line along there I'll go a bit deeper there though because my guess is that you're getting some turbulence there when water's going that rock there could really be shooting it over so there might have more chance there but I'll go across that way or I might just test a couple of rolls and see if I can pick up more pieces so I'm always going to try a bit of moss it's always good if we've got this sort of river with which steps in it. The other place where we did the moss before is like this. Where you know trying to find some ah, tend to find some moss in the river water but you find it in the moss so we're gonna get out a quick wash out and see what that's like. Because there's lots of moss down here. Walls and walls of it. I'll be back. steel in here but there you go two pieces there that's a nice piece didn't find anything in the moss on that side but it don't mean it's not there in other places um didn't find that moss what i'm digging on here now is concrete bottom so because the house is there we're gonna we'll get a pump and just have a pump along that because i can't shovel it obviously I can only shovel what's in it, so if there's any decent gold, we'll probably be stuck to concrete, which is always a bit bonus, because this river's got a lot of these steps, so if that pays off there, it'll pay off in just about most of them. I'm going to keep testing along here and do some more pans. So, if you've been watching me on Secret River, my Secret River, the one that's close to me, there's a wall like this and I dug along it and I got some pretty good gold out of it. And we're not the same idea that this is running like that. I've just took a pan out of there. I didn't film what we pan, but they were just like five really, really fly pulled, smaller than fly pulled, but there were five pieces in it. And this is a concrete bed under here. It's either concrete or slab stone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna nip back up to the house and get a pump after. We're gonna have something to eat and then come back. I just thought I'd show you this, how much steel there is in that, that's unreal. Uh, Mario's just found something very interesting, we're going to have a look at it later on the microscope, it looks like a piece of rock with gold in it. But 
for all that steel. That's just from behind there. And there's lots of these little steps down. Obviously it's like a natural ripple. But it's a bit deep. I don't want to be pulling big boulders out to my elbows. It's, uh, the water's a little bit fresh. But we've got all, <laughs> all our lights. I'll wash it out and have a look to see what's in it. Principally, there should be something in it. So that's from behind waterfall. <laughs> or behind behind that. Yeah. And there, uh, a lot of steel in there. And I'm not going to put so that could be good. Next summer could be slicing. We've also found us some mercury in here. Everything's stuck together with a bit of mercury there. But that, that there. If it'll focus, looks like a piece of gold in a piece of rock, a piece of load. And you can see mercury in it. Yeah, it seems good to see the giant. Yep. Look at that, that's a bit special. It does. If I can get my finger in it. It's in a rock. Cool. Seems to be Mario's day today. Look at that, that's nice. Two, two millimetre by three millimetre globe. This is what it looks further up. I'm only, well, I said further, I'm that far. Mario's just down there. He's done all right. It's an interesting place, this. And as I said, this all curves on here, so really, gold should be all along this wall here. Yeah. I might just come up here and do another test pan on that, on that gravel there. Another couple of pans. Then I gotta go. Bit of ice there. That's why I don't want to go deep, but next summer we can certainly dig them out. There's a hell of a lot of steel in here. But then again it runs this place runs through villages and in the farmers used to just chuck everything at river to take it away. I'm definitely gonna have a quick dig up here. But behind all these drops, that's just like an actual ripple system. It's like a big long john, isn't it? Long Tom, long john. See, the, the water's quite cool. So guys, that's what I got. Now, uh, there's probably actually about 20 pieces in there, but well 15 20 but there was some really fine stuff and if you can see there this is also covered in mercury there's quite a bit of mercury about in that uh, that's interesting because if gold concentrates in a certain place and mercury is heavy it concentrates in a certain place it could like sort of be picking a lot of gold up so it's gonna be well worth checking that out better digging in them uh, dips just wait till warmer weather for that i think <laughs>